Hello everyone and this is Friday's Maths. Um, we're going to think about 2D shapes again, so the flat shapes, not the solid 3D ones. And we're quickly just going to check that we're happy with them all, we should do by now. So we've got a circle, we've got a pentagon, a square, triangle, rectangle, a rhombus, an oval, and I've made my own shape just like you can if you've not got um, cutters at home. And I've got a hexagon and an octagon. All right, so hopefully the children should be confident with the names of the 2D shapes. So what we really want to do today is practice describing their properties. So by this, I, I mean describing them using um, words like edges and corners or vertices. All right, so vertices and corners are the same thing. It's just vertices is a more advanced mathematical word that we might use. So what you need to do is you need to put your shapes, whether you've cut them up from paper or just you found some shapes in a little bag and give them a little bit of a shape. You can sing the song and I'm sure the children at home would know it called Pass the Feely Bag Round. So it goes, pass the feely bag round. Now, pass the feely bag round. If the feely bag lands on you, stop and feel around. So then you put your hand in the bag and you don't take it out and you can't show anyone. And you have to describe the properties of the shape. So I'll do a couple for you. Are you ready? So this shape has got four sides that are all equal and it's got four vertices what shape do you think it is so four sides that are all equal and four vertices can you have a think yeah you're right it's the square all right i'll do one more i won't sing the song this time and this shape has got two long sides and two short sides and it's got four vertices. Can you guess what it is? You're right, it's the rectangle. So you could have a go at playing that game, like I say, with all the different shapes that I've mentioned. Um, if you want to make this game a bit more outdoors, a bit more practical, because um, the weather might be nice, hopefully, um, you could draw the shapes um, with some chalks or with some stones, and then you could get your child to jump to the shape that you're describing. All right, hope you have fun with that one, and again, have a lovely weekend. See you later.